Hey guys, so today we are going to be making some protein energy balls and I can't wait to share this recipe with you guys. I think you're really gonna like it. Now, some of these ingredients are interchangeable. So I would like to put coconut in this, but I don't have any coconut and I wasn't gonna buy it just for this recipe. So we are going to be using today the Teamy Wellness Protein and this is in the smooth vanilla flavor. So we're gonna make these into some protein balls. I'm just going to be using one scoop of the protein powder for this batch. And I've been using this protein. It's really good. It's really smooth like it says. Um, this one has 17 grams of protein. I really like it. It's very versatile like I'm showing you. I'm going to use it in these no bake energy balls, but you can use it in a million other things as well. Editing Amy here to tell you that I do have a discount code for Teamy. It will be on the screen here and it's also linked in the description box down below. So if you want to try anything, I have that code. So let's hop back into the video. So next in here, we are going to put in two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. You can also just go ahead and use whole if you want to. If you have hemp hearts, now would be a great time to add those as well. Hemp hearts are delicious in these kind of energy bites. I am a maple syrup gal, so I'm gonna use two tablespoons of maple syrup. Now the protein powder, I find to be pretty sweet, so I'm not gonna use too much. Then I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can use more or less. And then all of these are kind of optional and you'll just combine the flavors that you like, but this is just an idea. Then we're gonna add some salt and I'm actually gonna use some flaky salt in this even though it's getting blended. I'm gonna use about a quarter teaspoon of salt, one cup of just old fashioned oats, a nut butter of your choice. I actually can't have peanut butter, so I'm going to be using some sunflower seed butter. A third of a cup of your nut butter, or sunflower seed butter. Technically a nut butter, I don't think, but that's what we're rolling with. Goji berries, and these are really good. And we're gonna go in with a quarter cup of goji berries. And you can use like raisins in this if you wanted to, or some other dried fruit. And then I'm gonna put some chocolate chips in here. I'm gonna add a half a cup of chocolate chips because chocolate is life and why not, you know? two tablespoons of cocoa powder and this is just like baking cocoa powder because I want mine to be really chocolatey and then I'm just going to add just a splash of a um, non-dairy milk just to kind of bring it together this is actually a matcha almond beverage from Trader Joe's so I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons, like I said, just to bring it together. So now we're gonna go ahead and blend this up. I'm actually just gonna mix in a handful or so of just oats, and then that's going to really bind it together and give it a great texture. Put this in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes just to chill down a little bit and it's going to make it easier to roll into balls. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it in there. Then when it's done, we will shape them. Once our dough has set in the fridge a little bit, you're just going to take a spoon and I'm doing probably like a teaspoon to two. You know, these are about one inch balls, however big you want to do them. Roll it between your hand. Your hands are going to get a little messy. And I'm choosing to roll mine in some cocoa powder. Something else that's really delicious is um, rolling them in some matcha or matcha mixed with cocoa powder. This is unsweetened cocoa powder. Um, you can, yeah, just kind of put them in whatever you want, but having a little coating on the outside is gonna help them not stick together and just be a little bit cleaner eating. So you're just gonna roll them in whatever you're choosing. Um, you could do sugar, but I like mine to be a little bit more dark chocolatey. And I'm just putting mine in this glass dish here. It's freezer safe, so I can store these in the fridge or the freezer. 
Like I said, I think the only thing that would have made these better is some coconut. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in the freezer. Here's how you make some quick, delicious protein energy bites. Yum. Okay, so these have been in the freezer for a couple of hours, so let's give one a try. Mmm. Super good. Really rich, chocolatey. If you guys give me a give these a try, tag me on Instagram. It's a gish get spent. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications before you go. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.